Grant, and today I'm going to be talking about another one of my World War I German habits. This is another one of my new ones, or <clears throat> all of them are kind of new, but this one is, it, it, it isn't camouflage like my other one, but it's really historical. It has a really big lifespan, or not lifespan, but existence, I guess. Um, it's smaller than my other one. If you, it, it, this probably wouldn't make sense if you haven't watched my other video, but it's about my camo helmet. But that one's a 66, and this is a 62. Um, and what I was talking about with the camo one, with the step on the lug, this is the little step. You might be able to see it there. Um, this one has all the rivets still in it and stuff. The paint is really good still on this helmet but there's still a lot of wear where you would usually see it like where the chin strap was and setting it down on the top and stuff but uh, um yeah this one is marked G62 um and the lock code inside is sorry R1466 For anyone that's doing research on it or just wants to hear the lot code <laughs> but um this one i might have already told you but it's it was used by the austrian border police after austria and hungary split up into different or separate countries and so this was to prevent hungarian border hoppers from getting into austria um it's kind of like the berlin wall sort of but with Austria, I guess, it wasn't quite as big deal as the Berlin Wall, though. Um, yeah, on the inside, it has an Austrian lining, but it has all German markings. But you can't ever see it on camera for some reason. But in the skirt right there, there is... Oh, you might be able to see it, kind of. It says 62 in paint instead of stamped in, so that's really cool. But um, it's another M17, and yeah, this it has the back lug for the stern panzer. It's um, bigger, um, and what is it? The inside. I, in the last video, I was saying how the M16, 17 liner bands were different. And you can maybe see it on this one. It's a metal liner band right here. And so for the M17, the M16s are leather. And you might be able to see it here. Uh, the split pins on the edges are rounded for the M17. And for the split uh, for the M16, the split pins are still squared off at the ends. So it, even if it doesn't have the liner band, but it still has some of the split pins, that's another way to tell. Um. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you, uh, I, I'm gonna be posting a bit more on my other German helmets. And thank you for four subscribers. Um, whoever you guys are, but. In, the, in one day of doing it, four subscribers is amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you next time.